Introducing the new Cost Explorer from Harness. To get this level of cost data, if you're already using Harness Continuous Delivery, all you need to do is click a checkbox to start collecting the cost data. If you're not already using Harness, it takes about five minutes to get everything set up. The Cost Explorer Overview Dashboard is automatically populated and shows cost breakdown by cluster, application, and cloud provider. Harness also shows automatically generated recommendations on how you can reduce your cloud spend. The cluster dashboard is where things really start to get interesting. In this case, we can see that the Harness Demo GKE cluster is currently the most costly and it also has a very low efficiency score. That efficiency score was automatically calculated by Harness and is derived from the total versus idle resources. So to drill down, let's filter our cost data to focus only on this one cluster and group the results by workload. Immediately, we can see that a single workload is consuming the majority of our spend, and of course, we wanna know why. Drilling down into this workload, we see a big difference between the requested and used resources. Harness has even flagged a recommendation for us to change the CPU and memory limits with a guarantee that's based upon past data that this workload will not exceed those limits. If we implement this change, Harness predicts that we'll save $25.51 per month. That's pretty impressive considering that this service costs Harness about $50 per month with its current settings. Imagine how great it would be to know at any moment of any day just how much you, your team, or your entire organization are spending. With Harness's Cost Explorer, you'll have all the data and all the tools you need to analyze and optimize your cloud spend.